Make right. sure you have one. That rep is the most important rep right there. That's right. Group boys on three. One, two, three. Group boys. One, two, three. Okay. We don't get too many opportunities like this. Three, go. Ten, show on three. One, two, three. Ten, show. Ten. Go. Welcome to our football with Chris Ash. Coach, after the last ball game against Michigan State, you said, if we can't control the line of scrimmage, we can't win football games. Are you talking about that on both sides of the ball? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's one of our goals uh, in every game that we play. In this league, this is a line of scrimmage game. and You have to be able to run the ball and protect the quarterback on the offensive side of it. And on the defensive side of it, you've got to be able to stop the run and put pressure on the quarterback. That's not all just the D line, though. Uh, we did not play well enough on the line of scrimmage uh, on either side of the ball, but that's the D line, uh, but that's also also the linebackers because they're a huge part of the front on the defensive side. Everything goes together, doesn't it? Absolutely. Every piece of the, the puzzle has to fit in the proper place for the picture to look right. Why were you unhappy with the focus of your football team? Uh, well, uh, for us right now, we have to be able to uh, have focus on our job, and it's got to be consistent focus. It's got to be razor-like uh, focus. And when you uh, lose focus and you lose that ability to stay locked in on what you're supposed to do to be uh, successful, uh, you don't have a chance. And um, it wasn't every player, but I just felt like during the course of the game, uh, we had uh, some players that uh, lost focus, got distracted, and didn't uh, worry about going out and being the best football player they could uh, by doing their job consistently every single play. How do you show perseverance as a coaching staff and as a football team? Uh, well, it starts with me uh, as the leader of the organization, uh, how I show up every single day, uh, how I go about doing my work every single day. We're going to be positive around here. We're going we're to grind. We're going to go and, and be pros about handling our business. As we talked to the team about this week, hey, we're in a situation. Um, nobody's going to come help us out of the situation. No one's going to come feel sorry for us. We've got to be pros about our job. We've got to show up, but we've got to continue to respect the game, work the game, and go out and play the best we can. When you came in here, you said, this is not going to be easy. Do you feel that right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I felt that way back in uh, December when I took the job. You know, we're we're trying to build a program the way we want a program to be built. Uh, we're trying to uh, build a foundation from the ground up the way we want the foundation to look. That doesn't happen overnight. And uh, um, are we happy with the results right now? No, but uh, we, we understand what we're building, how we're doing it. We understand the foundation that we've built. Now we've got to continue to build on top of that. But every single day, uh, we're in a street fight every day. That, that's that's where we are. That's, uh, that's college football, you know. And and that's part of it, and, and I embrace the challenge. I love competition, and, and that's where we're at. When you see an individual effort like Deontay Roberts making 17 tackles, I don't care what level of football competition you're at, when you make 17 tackles, you've really earned it. Uh, yeah, uh, Deontay's really, I think, improved the last uh, half of this season, especially in the last couple games. I thought the Indiana game, he played his best game of the season. Richard Lego in at quarterback, firing to the middle, it's intercepted! Deontay Roberts with the pick for Rutgers, and the Scarlet Knights get a red zone turnover. I thought he followed it up here this last Saturday with a pretty good game. It wasn't perfect. He took a, a couple steps back on, on some things, but he was always around the football. He's always throwing his body in there and trying to make plays. And when you look at Tylen Oden, the fact that he averaged over five yards per pop, do you think that he's continuing to progress? Uh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's making strides in some areas. Second and nine, from the 16, Oden drops the throw. Oden steps up, Oden will take it now and run. The cut back up to the got out to the 23 yard line. That picks up about seven. He's dropped by a defensive lineman for Michigan State, Gerald Owens. Uh, still not uh, um, happy and satisfied in some other areas that he hasn't uh, made the progress that we want, we were hoping that he would make. But we put Tylen out there and he made some plays with his feet and that's what tylen has been able to do in the majority of the games that we've gotten him out there. So when you talk to your football team after a ball game like you had in Michigan State, what's the overall message that you try to convey to them? 
Uh, it's just like I, I mentioned, uh, we didn't talk a lot Saturday. We talked most on Sunday when the game was over. And it's, hey, here's our situation. I, you know, kind of give a state of the union on, on where we're at, uh, what's gone good, what's gone bad, what are we going to do the next couple weeks. And again, it's handle our business like professionals. It's coaches, that's players. You know, what do co uh, players want? They want coaches that care about them, treat them with respect, and help them get better. And that's what we're going to do. That's what we've been doing. That's what we're going to continue to do. Coaches want players that want to show up and have a positive attitude and want to be the best football player that they can be and make the good decisions and that's what we want the players to do they've done that coaches have done that we have to continue to do that it's funny at the collegiate level we're talking about professionalism yeah. because that runs through doesn't it in all aspects of life yeah, absolutely and uh, these are good lessons right now they're not lessons that you want but they're lessons that can uh, you can teach uh, everyone in the organization that they can carry on beyond football Coming up later in the show, we'll talk about the upcoming game with Penn State, night game, senior day. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll have more Our Football with Chris Ash in just a moment. Don't go away.